Howdy. National Weather Service Climate Prediction Center. 500 hectopascal height anomalies, northern hemisphere. Thirty-day loop of analyzed 500 hectopascal heights and anomalies. Each frame is a five-day mean, centered on the date indicated in the title of 500 hectopascal heights and anomalies from the NCEP Climate Data Assimilation System (CDAS). Contour interval for heights is 120 meters. Anomalies are indicated by shading. Anomalies are departures from 1991 to 2020 daily base period means. So, I have to admit I really cannot explain you exactly what we're looking at, but I assume that <clears throat> the red ones are high pressure systems and the blue ones are low pressure systems. This is a loop, you cannot stop it, you cannot put pause, it's just going over and over and over again. So I made a screenshot yesterday or two days ago, or actually a screen video, where we can play, press play and check out the dates when it started again. 22nd, now it goes on, now it starts again. 22nd of June is the latest, I guess. Yeah. It seems like that. So, let's go a bit <clears throat> to the beginning. Now it's at the beginning of the 30 days loop. 24th of May. Let's check out a bit where we are. So, this is Iceland. Spain, Mediterranean, Scandinavia, Greenland, New York, Los Angeles. Kamchatka, Siberia. Somewhat like that. So a month ago, there was low pressure systems over Scandinavia to some degree and it dissipated now we have to check out the date again 8th of June well 13th of June it seems that there has been some kind of a low point in activity because we don't have so much color in that then we go on 17th, still quite less, but here's something going on over <laughs> bucks everywhere. Mediterranean, what happened? 18th, yeah, we are approximately the same No. Fifth. Yeah, now it dies out a bit, the activity. And now, as we go into the 20th, there seems to be something really strong popping up there, over the Atlantic. So let's check out this other, this new one, which we cannot stop. It just goes and goes and goes. Yeah, this looks really interesting. There is emerging two blue spots here. The red and these two, <clears throat> right at the end. But anyway, I don't know exactly what this has to mean for us, but obviously there's something going on now again. It's lighting up. Let's go over to Windy. 
Check it out. No clouds. Some conversion zone clouds here. <laughs> it was already loaded when I started, now it loads again for whatever reason. Get on with it! Northern, like the Baltic region, Finland, Sweden, Western Russia, Poland, White Russia. No clouds, no rain. And if we would draw like the Kursk magnetic anomaly here and the surface conductivity anomaly, which goes something like that. It in a way makes perfect sense that why there is no clouds here. Because I think they work repellent. Unless we get a <clears throat> polarity change going on. And I'm still trying to figure out what it is which makes it to flip around. Actually, I wanted to have those pressure iso lines, iso lines. High pressure system should written should be written here, I guess. And it's really strong. And that's forecast. And it's just like last year since I noticed this anomaly that we with this really strong high pressure system making connection, which keeps it strong. Even though that there is something plunging in from there, but it somehow it remains. It's fighting for its own place. Yeah, Wednesday there should be some weather occurrence here. Seems like <laughs> thunderstorms and stuff. Water sprouts could be expected too. Maybe one or two lightning bolts as well. But after that, it seems there's a high pressure coming in again. And it will stay approximately at the same place as the other one did. Let's see what it does. Moves a bit southwards. And there's really well possibility there's also a low pressure system gets locked in the place. I think it's all about the polarity of whatever thing it's creating. But actually this looks really interesting. But that's so far in the future, they have no idea. There could be some rain and heavy winds and all this kind of stuff. But let's check out some volcanoes things as well. Krakatau, Caldera, 830 meters, Indonesia. Latest update. Krakatau, Vulcano, Sunda Strait, Indonesia. Eruptions continue at irregular intervals. This sounds somehow that there might be something bigger going on. The explosive activity at the volcano continues. A sudden, moderate volcano eruption took place from the summit when at 7.20. 17.20. Local time today. So this picture was taken before the eruption. 
maybe. 1718, 1714. And they talk about 720. Maybe there is something going on at this mountain too. <laughs> at least it looks like. Maybe even this cloud is originating from this. Originating. But there is some other volcano news also. For this we have to go to Iceland. There is something going on. Eirskjul? 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 Brestanukur. Shield volcano. Zap glacial. Effusive lava flows. Last eruptions? None during historic times. Last eruption, radiocarbon dated 7550 BC. So roughly 10,000 years ago. And there's another one. Eric Jokul. Probably extinct. Eruption start unspecified. Now during the last during the past ten thousand years. And there's a third one. Vreva Elir. Subglacial Vulcano. The heavy center of Vulcano lies at the northern end of the inactive volcanic zone that extends northeastern from the Aegean Peninsula. And that is referred to Odinir Nyukul. Nyukul? Volcanic system. It has a large summit caldera hidden below the Langjukul ice cap. The most recent volcanic activity of the Odinir Nyukul volcanic system dates back to around 950 AD when a large lava flow erupted occurred. Eruption occurred from a series of fissures at Halmundarun. Mountain water. Let's check something out. Is there any white river in Iceland? <laughs> There is. Or isn't it? It just looked white. It depends maybe on the year. On the... Nah. There can be more white. This one. Yeah, this could be. Maybe that we could count this as a white river. Since the water seems to be white or greenish, which could refer to gypsum. Also. Which I have, how to say, found out relates to mineral water, uh, alpine, Glacier activities, earthquakes, volcanoes, cryptodomes, crypto geysers. I still think that every glacier carrying mountain is a volcano. We have many glacier carrying mountains in Iceland. Grimsvatn, biggest glacier in Europe. So, does it mean it is the biggest volcano in Europe? Does it have to do anything with water? Geysir, crypto geysirs, effusive explosive magma water ice reaction produces notorious and frequent floods of meltwater bursts from the glacier. Hmm. And then we go to Europe. To the Alps region. And we have not one single volcano marked here. Not one. There's an earthquake. Seven hours ago. 
In Zwitserland, Obwalden. Do we get any map? Yes, we got a map. Check it out. Really bad quality. Quality. Gemmelersee? Kerstern Hörner? Hmm. Yet another glacial quake in the Alps. There might have been thousands of them already. Depth under these epicenter, seven kilometers. So probably we are about three thousand, three and a half thousand meter in height. So the actual depth is maybe four from sea level. Rohnestock. Rhone is a very big river, very important. Because it makes the connection to salt water in the Mediterranean, where we have many volcanoes. This is natural made. It seems to be fairly deep. And it has a hexagonal shape. <laughs> Funny. Thanks. <laughs> 